Good morning guys. It is four in the morning. We are ready to leave. My mother-in-law is taking us to the airport. When we get home though, um, Thursday night, we're going to take a taxi because it's going to be like, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night, midnight, something like that. So we'll take a taxi home. But for now, she wakes up really early for her job. So she was nice enough to take the time off to take us to the airport. I just straightened my hair and threw it in a pony because you want to be comfortable when you ride on a plane because you're stuck between a bunch of people for a long trip. So I just put a light makeup on. And here is my outfit. Let me take this out. Comfortable. Cute. And that's that. See you guys on the plane. Alaska, going to do our very best to ensure you have a safe and a comfortable journey while you're with us today. Glad you're here. until tomorrow. Tomorrow will be his free day where we take him for the day and then um, the next day is his graduation and then he'll be stationed in Texas and we will come back home. So it's not that bad. The weather here is nice. It's like what? I don't know 80. It's about 80. It's not bad at all. The trip was good. Yeah, we're just headed to the motel. Traffic. I will say it was much easier this time, especially on a weekday. It's not as bad, so that's good. So yeah, I'll check back in. Hey guys, we are headed out to go get my son. I had to hurry and get ready because the army told them we couldn't get him until nine today. And then he just called us just now and said we can come get him at 8. So that's the army for you. <laughs> They're always surprising us. So yeah, we're not doing no hair today. And I just threw on some jeans and a Levi's t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but this is what she's looking like. So yeah, let's go get my baby. Hey guys, I got my baby. They shaved his head again. <laughs> He's so handsome. We're at Denny's. He wanted to go have breakfast, so we're at Denny's. The sun is shining. We're going to go to the PX in a little bit. Say hi, son. <laughs> He's almost done. Tomorrow's his last day, you guys, and he's going to Texas. See you back in a little bit. <laughs> We're done eating. We're going to go to the PX. Look how handsome. Can we just get a moment? Aww. Oh, look at his ring. Show him your ring. He's officially in the army, guys. He's about to go get his uh, 215. Oh. Calvary Scout, excuse me. We're about yes. to go get his 215 badge and do a little PX shopping. Our unit badge. Oh, unit badge. I gotta learn all this, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. So, that's our next stop. We're outside the little rental car here. We're about to hop in and go to the PX. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. You wanna say hi to your brother, your sister, your... I love everybody. I love you cousins. I love you brothers. I'll be back. He'll be back, guys. We're trying to get him some leave right now. And this is what he wants to do on his free day. Boots off, lay in the bed. <laughs> Social media and free willy <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> We're going to go down to the pool and take a little swim. And yeah. 
So far we've done not too much. We went to the PX, did some shopping, went and had some ice cream at, what was that ice cream shop? Brewster's. Brewster's homemade ice cream. I got a waffle cone with birthday cake, pumpkin, pie, cheesecake, and raspberry truffle white chocolate. And it was bomb. And I will be working out this weekend, minute, so don't minute, come for me. What? I didn't finish my two scoops of peanut butter. And I tried a couple bites of his chocolate, uh, what was that? Chocolate, chocolate peanut, peanut butter. butter. Yeah. <laughs> and loving every minute. Okay. I am going to go to the pool. She in her swimwear. He in the bed over there. <laughs> and we out of here. <laughs> Son, what you eating? Ribeye. He got a ribeye, guys. With, would you get the bacon mac and cheese? Yeah. And asparagus. Looking bomb. We got roasted corn, glazed roasted Brussels sprouts, smothered onion and mushroom, cube steak, bacon mac and cheese, loaded potato, sirloin steak, and shrimp. This looks bomb. He's stuck on his social media. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> this is bomb, guys. For real, for real. Shout out to the Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> We couldn't eat it all, guys. The shrimp, the rice, the baked potato not touched, some of the Brussels sprouts, but the food was legit. Where are we at? Longhorn Steakhouse in Georgia. It's good. You full, son? Yeah. <laughs> She's full. Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta take him home. And take it not home, take him back to the barracks. And tomorrow's his graduation, so we'll see you then. Say bye, son. <laughs> you guys, I am so full. I feel like my stomach is going to explode. <laughs> She's tapping out. She's tapping out. But today was a good day. <laughs> We're full. You full, son? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yep. So, we about to take him back in a little bit. I went and got some shoes. They had like a shoe store here called like Shoe Carnival. And they had Converse and Vans and Nikes, Levi's, Tommy's, all kinds of shoes. So, you guys know I love my shoes. And they were way cheaper, like Air Maxes and where I come from are like 150 to 180. They're just expensive shoes. They were like half of that here. And then they got, I got some little cute little tennies too. But I got some cute Air Maxes. I'll show you guys when I get back to the room. They were cute. And I got these cute, like, let me show you. stretchy and soft, you guys. They're legit. Anyway, is this Georgia? I ain't gonna lie, where we're at in Georgia, there's not much to do, guys, but eat, swim, and shop. <laughs> there ain't much to do. So we're trying to make the best of it. But, uh, yeah, I'll check back in with you when we get back. Um, and then I'll show you guys my son's graduation tomorrow when he graduates. This is where his ceremony is going to be tomorrow. We're just looking so we don't get lost. <laughs> There's two of my favorites out of my four favorite guys. Two are at home, two are here. Oh, you're wiping your ass like 20 times after that stage. So we are going to see 
what's called a Bradley. And that is what my son's MOS is. His MOS is he drives the Bradley, which is what we're about to go see. And he goes in and he stakes out the area before the other troops foot, foot it on in, basically. He kind of stakes out the area. So, we're going to go see what my son drives. This is the Bradley. They, like, drove it all up in here. Hard to... There we go. The light. Okay, just so we don't get in trouble, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Dropped him off. We're back at the motel. Don't worry, it looks a little crazy in here. But anyway. So. Got these up for half price here. That I would pay in Tacoma, Washington. Tell me these aren't hard. I just love shoes, you guys. Shoes are my thing. I love all shoes. They don't have to be name brand. I love shoes. But these are hella cute. They got the gray with the white speckles and the dark blue speckles. I don't know if you can see the speckles. But they're hella cute. And then they got the black Nike check. The two-tone white. It's not giving what it's giving in real life but they're super cute so normally those would be like 150 160 i got them for half price then i got these little sneaks because i love navy blue and white i think it's such a clean girly tomboy look so i got these super cute i love the girly little tomboy look they even got the Levi's little tag on the tongue. I thought that was different because that's like what comes on your pants. Those are cute. So yeah, so I have to take both of these out of the boxes and try to fit them in my suitcase. And then, I already showed you guys, but I got these ones that I wore today. They're just a brand called Pony. I've never heard of them. But they were right next to the Nikes and the Reeboks and the Adidas. And they're considered an athletic shoe. So, yeah. Your girl's going to be wearing these to the gym. I am so... What is on the bottom of my shoe? Can we get it together? I am... Um, and look at... They're a sock shoe, guys. Like you can literally just crumble it up. These are so comfortable. You don't even feel like you're wearing shoes. Which is kind of like the Pumas I have. The Pumas that I brought here and wore, these are also very similar. But they're not quite a sock shoe. This is a full sock shoe. This is a tennis shoe, but it has a sock top. But yeah, I got these at Costco's for 20 bucks, guys. If you're wondering. But yeah. So my shoe game has to fit in my shoe box. I also have slides I got to put back and sandals and stuff so yeah and then I wanted to show these because they're super cute DeAndre got um his niece and nephew so my oldest son Jeremy you guys know has the twins my granddaughter and my grandson they're my grandbabies and DeAndre got the black bear like him with the army suit like him and it's legit. Like, it has everything the army suit has. I thought it was so cute. It even has the um, the boots and everything. So, it has the buttons on it. You can unbutton them. And I thought this was cute. And so we got these to remind them of him. Like a keepsake. And he got one with the flipped up bill and one with the bill down. But I think they both can go down. Yeah, they both can go down. But how cute. And then he got one for Lucho Magucho because we had to get Lucho something. 
so I thought that was cute how cute he's so sweet so yeah anyways I gotta figure out how to fit all this stuff in my suitcase and bring it home because all I brought was a carry-on guys but that's it for today let me flip you around your girl's already in the jammy already hair pulled back that's it for today I'm tired I'm bloated we got the snacks DeAndre was sleeping in the bed and eating today we've been eating all day but I said today was my day I've been working hard all month for today and then when I get home I won't be home till the weekend almost the weekend because um, we arrive at midnight so the weekend I'm gonna be going to the gym so I said both days I'm gonna go to the gym and just get my you know stuff back in gear and meal prep and I have a video coming out for you guys and yeah that's about it so I will see you guys tomorrow for his graduation and yeah and then we fly home guys see you later hey guys we are getting ready to head out it is Thursday morning and we are headed out to DeAndre's graduation ceremony now I know I showed a graduation ceremony in July that was just him graduating going green so basic training the first few months is like I would call it like a boot camp where they are being tortured <laughs> a lot of exercising a lot of staying up without sleep they leave them in the woods they have to find their way out all kinds of stuff right they're training them and then once they finish that they go to their job training their AIT and so we went out for his graduating going green and now he's graduating basically he's in the army he has his badges that go on his you know little outfit and then when he's done he's gonna get on a plane and go to his station and we found out he was being stationed in Fort Hood I don't know if I already said that but yeah so that's what he'll be for three years no I don't like it but he's a big boy and he'll be alright um, he gets visits too he gets like I think 30 days is it 30 days What? 30 days a year he gets Yeah, a leave. 30 days of leave a year so I'll see him two or three times a year for the next three years sucks cuz he's my baby but you know I like all my kids to be close to home I've said that before he's a young man he's not a baby yeah he's a young man and so as a young man I gotta let him go so but I'm proud of all my kids you know we were just talking about how in Georgia we don't see a lot of like people on the streets homeless people drug addicts where I live in Washington specifically Tacoma Washington which is by Seattle Washington there's a lot of um, drugs going around those new drugs we call them the zombie drugs there's a lot of people that are you know struggling out there and going through it and you don't see a lot of that here and it reminds me every day how grateful I am that my kids have their crap together you know so I've got one that's raising kids and being a dad and he's a mechanic and he pays his bills and he's getting married and he's had the same relationship for many many years and I got one that's in the army and he's trying to figure out his life and doing what's best for him and I got one that's a godson that's going to college and he's figuring out his life and doing what's best for him but I'm proud of all of them we're proud of all of them they're doing really good so we're blessed right they're not out on the streets they're not getting into trouble they're taking care of their business they're taking care of their responsibilities and that's what you want from being a parent that's what you want so all right I'm wearing the same t-shirt that I wore yesterday because I had a cute dress I was gonna wear today for his graduation <coughs> sorry guys my voice is raspy I don't know why but it's cold outside right now and I'm not gonna freeze my butt off and then after we leave his graduation you guys we're headed back to Atlanta we got a long drive back to Atlanta and then back on the airport I could wear the dress and then change at the airport but I'm not doing all that so 
same outfit. I have other outfits, but they're not appropriate for a graduation. They're like leggings, hoodies, sneakers, you know, comfy attire, shorts. So this is what she's wearing. I got my Levi's jeans, my jacket, Levi's shirt, and then the cute little Levi's shoes I bought. So yeah, I'm put together. I'm not all dressed up, but I'm put together. I forgot my hair straightener, so ponytail is what we're rocking, and we are ready to go see our son off to Texas, so stay tuned. We got to order pictures, you guys, and this one was free. It was the platoon picture. It comes with his package. Where is he? There he is. That's cool. And it shows his platoon as the date. Pretty cool. Yep, that's him. Dang it, car. Yep, that's him. He's smiling. And my baby. Palms are sweating, see him? Yeah, he's rubbing his hands, he's nervous. His palms are sweating. See if he looks my way. Probably not, his drill sergeant is right Right, his drill sergeant's right behind him. Look how sharp they look though. Now his drill sergeant's talking to him. I know. <laughs> Come on, Mama, let's go find the seat.
help us in the organization. I'll see you to come. Please have a safe trip home. Go to him. Go. Wyatt. Right in front of me. With Wyatt? Here. All right, Wyatt. Hi, baby. Hey. 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 Proud of you. You look handsome. Yeah. That's it, guys. He's a graduate. He's going to Texas. Proud of him. He's a soldier. He's a soldier. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Love you, son. There he goes, guys. Loaded down. Love you. Hey guys, that's the end of this video. We're going to go back to the airport. I don't know if I'll vlog anymore after this. Maybe, maybe not. I had to wipe my tears. My battery's going to die, so probably no more vlogging. I hope you like this video. Um, bye, son. We'll see you later. Proud of you. Proud of all my boys. Bye, guys. See you on the next video.